Good morning and welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and we're going to be talking about OpenAI's Sora model. So this is my third video on the topic because as you can see, I'm very fascinated by it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about nine new videos that surfaced uh, recently because the creators, more and more creators are getting you know their hands on this. And also one of my favorite creators, Marcus Brownlee, MKBHD, uh, got his hands on this and he tried three prompts and three videos. This, the first one that we're looking at is uh, a red cube being printed by a 3D printer. Um, and yeah, as you can see, his physics sometimes don't match in this one, but it's still very impressive. The next one I think is by far the most impressive. Uh, that's a young reviewer product, tech reviewer uh, in a well-lit environment surrounded by gadgets holding a cinema camera. So as you can see, it's getting better and better. This is almost indistinguishable from reality. And there are some learnings that MKBHD was uh, sharing. He says that it can struggle sometimes with physics, especially with legs or, or fingers and walking. Uh, sometimes the Sora generated videos, you know, they struggle with walking because the legs cross over and merge into each other. And that, that gives you, that gives it away basically. And also it struggles with branded items. Uh, they never quite match up to the real life. Things like cars, cameras, etc. They are not identifiable as a specific model. On the other hand, what he was praising is the lighting, uh, especially in that video of that product reviewer. It's almost as if there is a large soft key light just out of frame to the left and across the board. Lighting and shadows match all over the place, so it's it's really really nice and impressive. Uh, he also spent some time with the with the developers uh, from Sora from OpenAI, and they shared uh, some bits and pieces. They were saying that they are not just ready yet to to kind of release this as a uh, finished product. So they are planning to do it in the coming months. Um, and right now it's an invitation only thing. Uh, and as you can see, MKBHD just got you know three prompts. And what is surprising is, it, it took quite a while to generate them. He says that you can go out you know, to Starbucks, get a coffee, come back, and it will still be working. So we're most likely talking about hours to generate each prompt, and most likely the model that they're gonna enhance or utilize for this is that they will allow you to you know, use maybe one or up to three prompts a day or something like that, and that's it. I don't know if they're ever gonna make it as part of the ChatGPT, as, as DALI 3, for example, currently is, or if it's gonna be totally separate. But currently they are fine tuning it, um, and especially they are really uh, looking into safety aspects, right? Because this can be easily used for some propaganda political issues, especially, you know, there are so so many big elections happening this year around the world, right? In the US and currently also in Russia. So so all of these things, they are taken into account. And I think it's going to take up until almost the end of the year until uh, general public is going to be able to, to test it out. And I think they will likely start with, uh, you know, one prompt per day, maybe for, for ChatGPT4 users just to do like get the taste a demo taste you know for free but in the in the future it might be you know you will pay as you go per each clip currently it can generate 60 second clips as you can see this is an alien walking through new york city and it's just quite impressive of course yeah it gives it away but it almost looks like a guy with a real mask walking through new york city Another interesting fact that they mentioned in the interview was that uh, this model, Sora, is allowing them to, to reach AGI faster because currently the LLMs, the famously the ChatGPT uh, 4.0, you know, that one uh, already has a huge understanding of the world. Um, DALI also helps it to understand in terms of pictures, you know, what's, what's going on. But the videos, this is how each and every human kind of views the world, right? Like in movement, in motion. Um, and this this is adding a huge layer of understanding to these models, to, to artificial general intelligence, to be able to actually uh, 
to be able to actually emerge basically so yeah that's uh, i don't know if it's scary or exciting to be honest uh, but but i'm looking forward to get my hands on this so, and as always this has been jakub vanish uh, thanks for all the follows any comments i'll definitely reply to them and i'll keep uh, coming back to you with more stuff like this so thanks a lot and cheers everybody